Hi, I'm Diana, founder of ZeroWork. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a list of profiles to a Google Sheet or data table. The concepts that you're going to learn in this video are going to be applicable to other similar use cases as well. So, for example, if you want to save a list of company pages, of leads, of products, of posts, then this video is for you too. So let's get started. Let's go over the process that I'm trying to automate with a taskbot. This is um, LinkedIn with search results. So there are 10 profiles per page and we have 100 pages right here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save these profiles to a data table or a Google Sheet. I'm not going to show you how to paginate through these pages because that's a topic of the uh, next or one of the next videos. Okay, so here I would be saving the profile name and profile link. So first thing that I need to do is to add the right link here. So instead of opening LinkedIn.com, I need to open the link that already contains all the search filters so that the taskbot lands on the page where the search results are displayed. So let's paste it here, save. Then I need to set up a loop to iterate over the list. So every item in that list, or in other words, every profile in that list is um, corresponds to a loop iteration. So let's select here standard loop type, which does not iterate over existing rows. And we don't need to uh, iterate over existing rows because we're creating new rows. We're saving new data here. The number of repetitions is going to be 10 because we have 10 profiles per page. Next, we need to add the building block web save web element. So here we're going to be saving profile name and profile link. However, when I select uh, the data table to save to only variables which are temporary values uh, are displayed. So we first need to create a data table or add a Google Sheet link. So click here on the plus icon, then select create new data table. Now let's give it a name such as uh, LinkedIn profiles. You can now add your Google Sheet link right here or create a custom data table with your own columns. I'm going to create two columns. One I'm going to name profile link and another one is going to be name. Now create. This is now an empty data table where I'm now going to be saving uh, the search results. So let's open here save web element and first I'm going to be saving a profile link uh, to this data table not as text but as link and now I also need to enter selector. If you're not sure what selectors are please watch the introductory video to what selectors are. I'm linking the, uh, the link to that video in the description below. For now, I'm just going to copy the selector that I have created here, which is this one. Let's continue. So this is the link, save. And now let's continue with uh, saving the name of the profile. So now I'm going to also save uh, the name and the selector that I had prepared before this video is the same, almost the same, but it contains a few more elements right here. And now I'm going to save it to name. Save. And now let's run this taskbot. Now the taskbot is going to open LinkedIn, as you can see here. It's opening directly the page with the search results and it's going to iterate over these 10 profiles. The taskbot is done. Let's check the data table. Here are the results. So this is how you can save a list of profiles or product pages or post to a data table or Google Sheet.